constant steady rain. So uh, we're, we come out of that, but we do have some showers still to deal with for our Saturday. So nothing prolonged, nothing too heavy. I don't think a lot of measurable rainfall left, but definitely some showers. Here's a look at the WLWT radar. The last couple of hours with the widespread area of rain now comfortably to our east. That's the good news. But note some of those showers still up across central Indiana. They're actually going to rotate south and east and toward downtown, toward uh, the metro as we head through the next couple of hours and into our afternoon. So not quite done yet. This is a slow moving low pressure that will drag off to the east coast and wrap in some moisture on the back side of it. Within the 275 loop, nothing on the radar right now, but there is some mist out there. There's some fog and is a damp start for the morning. Any of those very light showers currently on the radar north of Brookville, north of 74 there in Indiana as well as crossing over into Butler County, Oxford, Okeana, uh, expecting some light showers right now the, along 127 quickly uh, for Hamilton, eventually Middletown, a few showers here for the morning. And then as we head through our uh, late morning to midday, more of them will pop up on the radar. So the future cast showing 8:30, 9 o'clock, some scattered showers out there. No one location uh, guaranteed dry conditions this morning, so I would keep rain gear if you do have outdoor plans for the morning, but they should be light and fairly brief showers. And when it's not showering, it'll be cloudy and damp to start off through our afternoon. I think by two and three o'clock we're on the back side of this with fewer showers late afternoon toward evening. Most of the activity is sinking south at that point and by five o'clock some of those clouds breaking. We should bring back some late day sunshine and it would just be a very isolated shower chance uh, past five and six o'clock this evening. I do think most of us are dry through our evening hours this morning. Cloudy skies, foggy conditions that visibility has dropped back to a mile and a half at the International Airport. Five miles here at the station nine at Hamilton. I think we'll see those fluctuate throughout the morning with brief periods of some dense fog at times 59 right now. The temperature it's a mild and damp start. Here's the satellite and radar again that widespread view of the uh, heavier rain and widespread rain to our east. These are just showers for central Indiana. Not expecting any storms today, not expecting anything strong or problematic, but we talk in the winter time about some wraparound snow on the backside of low pressures. Well, same story here in the spring, a couple of showers, uh, but less moisture on the back side of this low pressure that's weakening and lifting off to the east. A few showers around for the midday for the afternoon today. By tonight, we're on the drier side thanks to a ridge of high pressure that's across the Midwest today and sliding our way for Sunday. That will allow plenty of sunshine tomorrow. The winds will be weak. The dew points will be low. A comfortable day. Temperatures where they should be highs in the mid 70s. A spectacular end to our weekend. And then as we head into next week, we'll bring back the warmth. 68 for a high today, even with the extra clouds around cloudy skies to start some late day sunshine mixed in some scattered showers through our midday and early afternoon, especially then dry tonight, partly cloudy. We drop off to 50 and more sunshine tomorrow, mostly sunny on Sunday and dry a high temperature of 74 low humidity and comfortable conditions Sunday and Monday by Tuesday, warming up to 81. It's really Wednesday. We start to bring back the humidity and we're talking humid conditions and pop up scattered storms for Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday and Friday as highs remain in the low to mid 80s. Jonathan. Thank you, Jennifer. The Cincinnati Reds had some good moments Friday night, but alas, it wasn't enough. And once again, all eyes are on the bullpen. News 5's George Vogel takes a closer look in your